Every Man is a late 15th century English morality play. Every Man uses allegorical characters to examine the question of Christian salvation and what man must do to attain it. The premise is that the good and evil deeds of one's life will be told by God after death, as in the ledger book. The play is the allegorical accounting of the life of every man, who represents all mankind. The play opens with a prologue, which takes the form of a messenger telling the audience to attend it, to the action to come, and to heed its lesson. God speaks, lamenting that humans have become too absorbed in material wealth and riches to follow him. He feels taken for granted because he receives no appreciation from mankind for all that he was giving to them. Of goes to lay sight of the people so blind, drowned in sin, they know me not for their God. In worldly riches in is all their might, they fear not my right witness, their sharp road. So God commands that his messenger to go to every man and summon him to heaven to make his reckoning. Death arrives at every man's side and informs him it's time for him to die and face judgment. On thee thou must take a long journey, therefore thy book of count with thee thou bring. For turn again thou cannot by now weigh. And look thou, be sure of thy reckoning. Upon hearing this, every man is distracted, as he does not have a proper account of his life prepared. So every man tries to bribe death and begs for more time. Death denies every man's request, but will allow him to find a companion for his journey, someone to speak for his good virtues. Yeah. If any be so hardy, that would go with thee and bear the company. Thee that you were gone to God must significance, thy reckoning to give before his presence. Fellowship, representing every man's friend, enters and promises to go anywhere with him. However, when Fellowship hears of the true nature of every man's journey, he refuses to go. Fellowship saying, I will stay with every man to enjoy life but will not accompany you on the journey to death. If death were the messenger for no man that is living today, I will not go with that journey. Yet if you will eat or drink and make good cheer or harm to women, the lusty companion, I will not forsake you while the day is clear. Every man then calls on kindred and cousin who represents family and asks them to go with him. Kindred refuse outright. Ah, sir, what? Be a merry man. Take good heart to you and make no mourn. But as one thing I want you by St. Anne. As for me, you shall go alone. Cousin also refuses by making excuses. No, by Our Lady. I have the cramp in my toe. Trust not to me, so God me speed. I will deceive you in your most need. In refusing to accompany every man, Cousin explains a fundamental reason why no people will accompany every man. They have their own accounts to write as well. For verily, I will not go with you. As of my an unready reckoning, I have to account. Therefore, I make tearing. Now, God keep me deep. For now, I go. Every man now thinks that the material profession he has stored up many enable him to buy his way into heaven. He called out the good saying, Money make all rights that is wrong. Goods reply him that I can't sell for your position, giving part of goods to the poor. Every man turned to good this and pay you, help me in this need, or else I am forever dead. Therefore, help me to make recording before the redeemer for all things. Because he has been non neglected, good this in a sorry condition, although he is willing to go with every man, he can muster the strength to do so, and is not this moment. However, good this introduce every man to knowledge who say knowledge can help him by taking him to confession. Every man feels very happy. Confessions tell every man he will give him a valuable juice 
and penance. If he confesses his sins, every man call on the Lord to forgive his obvious and offenses. Acknowledge. After every man commits his confession, knowledge informs him that his friend's good deeds is heavy and whole once again. Good deeds himself that come forth and say every man is now prepared for heaven. Introduce every man to confession, strength, fine with and beauty, and ask them to accompany every man on his journey. Knowledge tells them before he leaves, he must receive the last sacraments on the church. These strange discretion and the five with are all quality that fade as a person gets older. Knowledge cannot accompany him after he leaves his physical body, but will stay with him until the time of death. Now, yet I will not depart from the hands depart, till I see where you shall become. At last, every man comes into his grave with good deeds and desires and dies, after which they ascend together into heaven, where they are welcomed by an angel. Now, the soul is taken the body, they recording is crystal clear, thou shalt thou into the heaven fear, unto the which all you shall come, that life well before the day of dawn.